you too short for? Entertainment tonight. No, he's got little legs. I'm here with Serena. She is uh, an international speaker, entrepreneur, and uh, earlier she said a person. And what we're going to talk about today is your entrepreneurship journey. Hi, Serena. Hi, how are you going? Fantastically. So, how is it that you got started with this whole word entrepreneur? Um, a few years ago, I used to well, I used to work for somebody all my life, and then one day when they went into um, uh, like li uh, voluntary liquidation, I was out of work, and I thought, what am I going to do? And people had always said to me, "Why don't you do your own business?" And I'm like, "Me do my own business? Like, what could I possibly do?" But anyway, as it turned out, I had a friend photographer, and we set up a website. Um, for advertising purposes and eventually she got very busy with photography so I ended up taking over the whole website and, and working it um, and then I had to do um, workshops on SEO and social media so I could keep that website ranking on front page and the journey of doing that I came into this process of all of a sudden something opened up in my brain that I had all these create creativity or create creative of ideas um, of, I could do any sort of business and before I knew it I'm going off in 10 different directions of, of creating businesses you know anyway I thought I was crazy because I thought my god what's happening to me um, but when I spoke to someone about it they said oh my god don't clamp that creativity because that's your entrepreneurial ship of you know um, being, a, I guess, a business owner. So through that process, I, I first off, I didn't have faith in myself or believe in myself because of that not knowing. And then gradually, bit by bit, through different workshops I was doing, through um, you know moving forward about improving myself, I found that, hey, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. And, and then I learned what being an entrepreneur was, and it was okay to have a hundred different ideas going through my head. And it, everyone goes through the process of getting to where the most successful entrepreneurs are. So you start off with being crazy and having a hundred ideas and trying them all, and then gradually you tone them and you bring them in till eventually you're only de dealing with a couple. And then you go and hang around with people who have been there before you um, and then learn what they did to get as successful as what they are and make sure that your journey is going on the same line so that then you start to become who you hang around with. It's amazing actually that uh, that brief chat that you just gave. It's so full of value. The part that most interested me is this idea of having a hundred different ideas and trying all of them. Can you talk about that process because I can imagine it was quite difficult. Nothing's difficult for me, trust me. <laughs> because I just do. And so when I get an idea in my head, I first off register a domain. So I've got the domain. That's why I have 2,000 domains. You register the domain? Yes. So, But I don't just register one. I register 10 around every possible keyword I can think of that would relate to the business. So if you have one keyword, what would people search for that would find that business and you want them to find you so then you add the other keywords to them so a bit like long tail keywords and um, and then sorry could you just explain what a long tail keyword is okay so a long long tail keyword is so for example if your business is coaching you could just have coaching as your one keyword, your major keyword, or you could have business coaching as your major keyword. But then other people might type in business coaching in Perth, Australia, for example. That becomes a long tail keyword. Or business coaching um, about uh, businesses global. Okay. And so you expand on the number of keywords that you have. So that's long tail keywords. So it's a specific keyword? Yes. All right. But you do your research to find out what people are searching for and they're the keywords that you use. Don't just make them up yourself. Um, so, so you've registered the domain, yeah. 10 domains, using your keywords and long tail keywords. What happens next, Serena? Well, I'm very lucky because I have an outsourcing company in the Philippines called Just Simply Outsourcing. 
and um, so they're all specifically in teams relating to different things to build that domain into a business. So we create the um, website that goes with each one. I have writers who write content. Content is king. So you know when you're doing anything in business, you make sure that you have a website that is constantly updated. So that means just creating a few articles a month just to, to keep it up in Google's head as an authority website. And that's what we do. And then we add all our social media aspects to it. So we have Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, um, Pinterest. Do you set up individual accounts for each of these businesses? Yes. Everything has to be authentic. Because some people think if they just build a lead page, and it's just a one pager and then direct traffic from that to your main website Google sees that for what it is so you can be penalized for it so we actually build a website with every domain so that you know you could have for our outsourcing business we have 30 domains under all of the major keywords that we could um, get and therefore the traffic comes in through those because they're directed to our main um, email but they all have their own email with it um, to show the you know that we want it to show that it's authentic as a as a business. It's just that we use the keywords to get the traffic. So whatever they find first, it doesn't matter if it's any of our 30 websites, it leads back to us. I would tell, at the risk of getting too technical, do you just, so what you do is with each of the domains, you don't just refer it all back to one site. What you do is you set up businesses for each one of the domains, but they all sell the same product. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was about to say, like, that sounds like a lot of hard work, doesn't it, Serena? <laughs> uh, not really when you know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you've got these 100 ideas, you've registered the domains, you've set up the website, and you've got some content, which I assume is like articles and things like that? Uh, yes, article content. What happens next? Well, then you either start working it as a business, So, but the thing I learned is I had too many things on the go, so I had to break down what I was doing, so I then started to bring it down into the focus of just three, and that's our uh, outsourcing, uh, the advertising portal, and our products, and then you focus on setting up um, like a template so that it matches each business of what you need to do to get that business to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. So you condense your a thousand crazy ideas, you put aside what's not really going to make you money for now and you focus totally on the ones that do make you money. Usually one, not three, like me. <laughs> but you're a crazy person, right? Yes, I'm a crazy, but just a person. <laughs> so you've set up these websites and you've uh, you got the domains and you've put this work in. How do you know it's going to make money? <laughs> Um, well, if you've got passion and if you've got drive and you never take no for an answer, which is my motto, you just make it happen. So, you know, you can you can sit in disbelief of maybe it may or may not happen and you sort of wait for something to happen without you putting anything into it. Or you just focus forward and what you focus on is what you get anyway, what you create. So you focus on what you, where you want to get to. And for me, I just have drive and I have... Um, what, do I, what do I call it? I don't give up. And I never take no for an answer until I get where I need to be or the no is a real no. So you just keep going. And like I said, you hang around with people with, with where you want to be because then who you hang around is is what you become. So total focus, outcome. Thank you so much. If our viewers would like to get in contact with you, how do they find you, Serena? Um... If you type in my name, you'll probably get Serena Williams anyway, but <laughs> I'm on Facebook uh, and also my one of my websites just simply help. <laughs> How do they find you on Facebook? Oh, didn't you tell them my name? Yeah, Serena. <laughs> Serena Carly, C-A-R-L-I. So just simply health.com um, and also my website, philippineoutsourcer.com as well. And um, yeah, any of the emails on there. I won't give you my phone number though. Maybe that's for later. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Serena. Thank you. <laughs>